in this uh, lecture we will see in detail about the uh, polyspin poly matrices and their property these are the polyspin matrices uh, sigma x is equal to 0 1 1 0 uh, and similarly sigma y is equal to 0 minus i i uh, 0 sigma z is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 and uh, this is uh, 2 by 2 matrices so poly matrices are 2 by 2 matrices now we will see what is uh, sigma x squared if you square the spin matrices what will happen so we are multiplying squaring the uh, two matrices uh, that is 0110 0110 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so if you multiply this uh, you will get uh, that is first row and column you will get one uh, first row and second column you will get zero uh, then uh, second row first column you will get zero because this is one zero zero one similarly the second row second column so one into one one you will get uh, zero one plus zero so one this is a unit matrix so uh, two by two unit matrix uh, similarly sigma y, y square you will get if you multiply this zero minus i zero uh, i i into i uh, i squared here one minus i squared is equal to minus uh, one so minus of minus one you will get plus uh, similarly the second row second column if you multiply i into minus i same i squared i squared is equal to minus one and minus uh, with this minus will become plus one uh, similarly for the z uh, sigma z matrices so in principle, uh, the square of the poly matrices are uh, equal to unit matrices. That, that is sigma x squared, which is equal to sigma y squared, which is equal to sigma y uh, z squared, which is equal to, in general, we can write the sigma i squared is equal to unit matrix, 2 by 2 unit matrix. I indicate x, y, z. Now we will see some more properties of poly matrices. You know very well these three are the poly matrices. Just now by uh, look into the trace that is the sum of the diagonal element. Uh, for uh, sigma x matrix it is 0. Sigma y also it is 0. Sigma z 1 minus 1 uh, this is also will become 0. That means uh, trace of sigma i where i is equal to x y z is equal to zero now you come to the determinant uh, determinant for sigma x matrix this is uh, zero so no problem and this is one into uh, one of course there will be minus uh, uh, when you are looking into the determination you will get minus one same is the case with the sigma y this is 0 then you have to add minus i into i there will be another minus so minus of minus become plus and i uh, into this i i squared will become minus 1 here also uh, first element you can take 1 into uh, minus 1 minus 1 and 0 of course next element is 0 so 0 this is also minus 1 so determinant of the poly matrices are minus 1 and the eigenvalue what about the eigenvalues you know the square of the poly matrices are uh, identical matrix so uh, the eigenvalue must be plus or minus 1 uh, and also these three matrices are Hermitian matrices uh, that is uh, a uh, the, we are saying a, a, a matrix is uh, Hermitian if a is equal to a diagonal you change the row and columns 
uh, transpose the row 0 1 row will become 0 1 uh, and 1 0 will become 1 0 uh, here also since it's a complex number uh, 0 minus i will become when you are changing this row into column uh, 0 plus i because it's minus if you take complex uh, conjugate it will become uh, plus i uh, similarly the next one i 0 will become if you transpose this into column then minus i because it is i minus i 0 same is the case with this so these matrices are hermitian matrices then what will happen uh, if you take uh, if you multiply any two matrices, let us say, for example, sigma x, sigma y. Sigma x is 0, 1, 1, 0. And uh, sigma y is 0 minus i, i is 0. So if you multiply this, you take first row and first column. So if you multiply, you will get i. Similarly, first row, uh, uh, second column, 0. Then uh, first row, uh, sorry, second row, first column. So this will be zero. Similarly, second row, second column. This will be uh, this will be minus i. So because here you have minus i, you take out the i outside, then it will become one minus one. So this is nothing but uh, sigma z and of course we have i outside so it's equal to i sigma z if it is a cyclic you will get plus sign otherwise uh, you will get the negative sign that is for example if you multiply sigma y uh, with the sigma x sigma y into sigma x you will get minus i sigma z so you can easily verify this because it's a simple multiplication process so in general, we can write sigma i into sigma j is equal to i epsilon i j k sigma k. Here epsilon i j k, when uh, any uh, two of these uh, parameters is same, uh, then uh, this epsilon value will be uh, zero. Uh, if it is uh, cyclic, you will get plus one. If it is anticyclic, is that is instead of i j, if you are getting ji then it is negative this is the meaning of this epsilon ijk so we have seen just now sigma i into sigma j is equal to i epsilon ijk sigma k now we will see the commutation relation first we will see commutation and then anti commutation See, commutation of sigma x with sigma y is equal to sigma x sigma y minus uh, sigma y sigma x. So, what about uh, sigma x? Uh, you need not multiply the matrix. You can use this relation. So, sigma x sigma y is equal to because it's a cyclic x, y, z. So, naturally, it will be i. Uh, this will become plus 1, uh, that is epsilon term will become plus 1 and k is uh, uh, sigma z and minus sigma y sigma x, uh, what about this one, sigma x, uh, sigma y sigma x, so this order is reversed, not the cyclic x y, it's y uh, x. So naturally, uh, you will get negative. Epsilon is minus negative. So this will become minus i sigma z. Here is one minus. Minus of minus will become plus. So this will be equal to 2i sigma z. So in general, we can write the commutation. Sigma i uh, with sigma j is equal to 2, uh, two times i epsilon i j k sigma uh, k so this is the commutation uh, relation that is we are uh, 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 since we, uh, sigma x sigma y is equal to 2 i sigma z we are writing like this here you must remember that uh, this is uh, true when i is equal not equal to j that is if any two of this parameter is equal then epsilon value will be zero that also you have to keep in your mind then 
we will see the anti commutation relation what is the anti commutation relation so sigma x sigma y uh, i have used to uh, plus sign here to indicate it is anti commutation uh, which is equal to sigma x sigma y plus sigma y sigma x which is equal to sigma x sigma y is equal to minus uh, sorry plus i z from this relation M uh, minus i sorry plus i sigma z what about this when you are changing this order uh, that is y x uh, then this will become minus i sigma z which is equal to zero uh, remember that we can generally write this thing uh, as uh, which is equal to uh, two uh, delta uh, this is a uh, Kranagar delta delta ij into unit matrix uh, see here uh, you have to realize that if i equal to zero what will happen this is one so this will become two i i equal to j that means here you uh, if, if you take this example if x is equal to y uh, then this will become uh, sigma x squared plus sigma x squared so you know the if you square the uh, spin matrices you will get a unit matrix identity matrix unit matrix you will get so uh, this is two times the unit matrix when i is not equal to j then it will be naturally zero that is Kranagar delta will be zero so this is more generalized anti commutation relation from these two relation that is uh, uh, that is from this one you take commutation relation and you take anti commutation relation from this what you will get sigma i uh, sigma j is equal to uh, delta ij uh, into unit matrix plus i uh, epsilon ijk sigma k say for example uh, i is not equal to j then this term naturally will go away this term will go away uh, so it, uh, you can get only this term which is nothing but first one that is sigma i sigma j is equal to i epsilon i j k into sigma k this one you are getting exactly what about if i is not equal to i is equal to zero not equal to zero. i is equal to zero then sorry i equal to j uh, then the second term will become zero this one will become zero first term will be one this delta Kranaker delta will be one which will become unit matrix when i is equal to j then this is a sigma i squared which is nothing but a unit matrix so this is the generalized the expression for multiplication of two spin matrices thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting me continuously if you have any question kindly send it to me uh, to the following email id and i will uh, definitely reply uh, for your queries and my youtube channel is uh, i have given the link to, uh, at the end this is my uh, youtube channel link thank you very much